your hate is so superficial that it can be, if you allow it, it can be pulled away. A story about Carolina's family coming together that you'll see only here on 7. Community members in Easley worked for hours to clean up this graffiti covering up the building walls of a local hair salon. Yeah, that graffiti stated that the owner should go back to Mexico, saying she should take the drug cartel murder culture with her. The owner, who is actually a U.S. citizen and from Cuba, says she was overwhelmed today both with shock but also with support from the kind people of Easley. 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin was out there during the cleanup, so tell us what happened, Kirsten. Racist comments turned into something much different. The people of Easley today refused to let racist graffiti define their community. A labor. This is not the message that our community gives. Of love. See, all that hate can be peeled back. People of Easley not letting a racist message define who they are. Taking matters into their own hands, they're changing the narrative. We're trying to change the culture and instead of everybody hating each other, we're trying to make sure everybody loves each other. Total strangers hearing about racist graffiti targeting the owner of Rosa's hair salon. The graffiti stating, go back to Mexico and take drug cartel murder culture with you. I couldn't believe it when I came over here and saw all that writing. I cannot imagine who could have done something like that. Rosa Cabrera isn't from Mexico. She's a U.S. citizen originally from Cuba and has been running her own salon off of Northwest Main Street for 20 years. Right there, like this. Cabrera says she filed a police report Tuesday and has insurance on the building, but that may not be needed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll put my money to all the material too. The owner of All American Pressure Washing. Washing away the words for free. And a local artist offering to help paint a mural in its place. We're going to cover it up, clean it up, and make it gorgeous. All gestures that Cabrera says have restored her faith in a place she calls home. It's kind of overwhelming seeing so many friends that I don't know just come to help. Way to go easily, right? Yeah, and her family's actually offering a $1,000 reward for anyone who has any information leading to an arrest in this. Well, what about security cameras, footage like that? Have they been able to find anything that shows them who did this? Yeah, they said that police did come and check some surveillance video in the area, but that her particular business did not have cameras set up, so that is something that she's now looking into purchasing, as well as some street lights surrounding her business so people can see that from the roadway. Well, there sure was a message sent tonight with this community reaction. Yes. Kirsten, thank you.